Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on Cloud Access Security Broker, commonly known as CASB. In this session, we will discuss where does CASB fits in overall cloud security architecture, understand what CASB is, what CASB is used for, the four pillars of CASB and why do we need CASB. Let's get started. First let's see, where does CASB fits in overall cloud security architecture. For this we refer to Gartner Cloud Security Architecture. A cloud access security broker is cloud-hosted software or on-premises software or hardware that act as an intermediary between users and cloud service providers. The ability of a CASB to address gaps in security extends across software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service environments. In addition to providing visibility, a CASB also allows organizations to extend the reach of their security policies from their existing on-premises infrastructure to the cloud, and create new policies for cloud-specific context. The CASB serves as a policy enforcement center, consolidating multiple types of security policy enforcement and applying them to everything your business utilizes in the cloud, regardless of what sort of device is attempting to access it, including unmanaged smartphones, IoT devices, or personal laptops. CASB enables businesses to take a granular approach to data protection and the enforcement of policies, making it possible to safely utilize time-saving, productivity, and cost-effective cloud services. Many CASB security features are unique compared with those offered by other security controls, such as enterprise or web application firewalls and secure web gateways, and may include the following. Cloud governance and risk assessment, data loss prevention, control over native features of cloud services like collaboration and sharing, threat prevention, often user and entity behavior analytics, configuration auditing, malware detection, data encryption and key management, SSO and IAM integration, and contextual access control. Next, let's see what the four pillars of CASB. From its beginnings as an answer to shadow IT, CASB has grown to include functionality that can be described in terms of four pillars. First pillar is, visibility. Large businesses may have any number of employees accessing many applications in many different cloud environments. When cloud usage is outside the view of IT, enterprise data is no longer bound by the company's governance, risk, or compliance policies. To safeguard users, confidential data, and intellectual property, a CASB solution provides comprehensive visibility into cloud app usage, including user information such as device and location info. The cloud discovery analysis provides a risk assessment for each cloud service in use, allowing enterprise security professionals to decide whether to continue allowing access or whether to block the app. This information is also useful in helping shape more granular controls, such as granting varying levels of access to apps and data based on an individual's device, location, and job function. Second pillar is, compliance. While businesses can outsource any and all of their systems and data storage to the cloud, they maintain responsibility for compliance with regulations, governing the privacy and safety of enterprise data. Cloud access security brokers can help maintain compliance in the cloud, by addressing a wide variety of compliance regulations, such as HIPAA, as well as regulatory requirements such as ISO 27001, PCI DSS, and more. A CASB solution can determine the areas of highest risk in terms of compliance, and provide direction as to what the security team should focus on to resolve them. Third pillar is, data security. Cloud adoption has removed many of the barriers preventing effective collaboration at distance. But as much as the seamless movement of data can be of benefit, it can also come at a tremendous cost for businesses, with an interest in protecting sensitive and confidential information. While on-premises DLP solutions are designed to safeguard data, their ability to do so often does not extend to cloud services and lacks cloud context. The combination of CASB with sophisticated DLP allows IT the ability to see when sensitive content is traveling to or from the cloud, within the cloud, and cloud to cloud. By deploying security features like data loss prevention, collaboration control, access control, information rights management, encryption, and tokenization, enterprise data leaks can be minimized. And finally the fourth pillar is, threat protection. 
whether through negligence or malicious intent, employees and third parties with stolen credentials can leak or steal sensitive data from cloud services. To help pinpoint anomalous user behavior, CASB can compile a comprehensive view of regular usage patterns and use it as a basis for comparison. With machine learning based user and entity behavior analytics technology, CASB can detect and remediate threats as soon as someone attempts to steal data or improperly gain access. To protect against threats coming from cloud services, the CASB can use capabilities such as adaptive access control, static and dynamic malware analysis, prioritized analysis, and threat intelligence to block malware. Next, why CASB is important. As services that were previously offered on-premises continue migrating to the cloud, maintaining visibility and control in these environments is essential to meeting compliance requirements, safeguarding your enterprise from attack, and allowing your employees to safely use cloud services without introducing additional high risk to your enterprise. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you and all the best.